If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this season 5, episode 10, we are going to see about servers performance monitoring in JMeter. It is very much important to monitor the performance of the servers under test. Typical parameters we monitor is CPU, memory, network, disk and swap. By default, you will not be able to gather the metrics of the servers in JMeter. That is why we have to leverage two things. One is Perfmon server agent. You have to download the zip file from the GitHub repository and you have to start the agent. If you are in Linux or Mac OS, you can use the startagent.sh or if you are in Windows, you can use startagent.bat. By default, it uses the port number 4444. Once you start this agent, it will be able to capture the server side metrics and then it will stream the, the data to the JMeter. To publish the metrics, you have to leverage the plugin called Perfmon Metrics Collector. This one you can download it from the JMeter Plugins Manager and you have to configure the host, the port and which metric to collect from the agent and the parameter. Based on the configuration you enter, you will get the graphs like this. So in this case, it is showing the CPU, memory and network for my local host. And you can understand your health metrics by collecting these from the servers. You can deploy these agents across all the servers you want to measure. And you can collect the statistics and then you can take the appropriate action on the performance. Now let us see a quick demo how to deploy the agent and how to collect the metrics in JMeter. So this is the Perfmon agent GitHub repository. If you go to releases, you'll be able to download the latest version of Perfmon agent. I have already downloaded and extracted. So this is how it looks. Once you extract, you will get lib folder and you will get the command runner dot jar and server agent dot char and BAT for Windows and .sh for Linux or Mac OS. Now let us go back to uh, JMeter. This is my simple JMeter test plan to collect the server statistics. Basically I am running a simple demo application in my local laptop so that my laptop is under test now. So to collect the metrics, I want to add the Perfmon metrics collector. To add the perform metrics collector, first you have to install it. Just launch the plugins manager and click on available plugins and search for Perfmon. In this case, I have already installed the Perfmon plugin so that you can see it in the installed plugins tab. So here, as you see, the version is 2.1 and you can see the uh, sample snapshots and other details. To add the metrics collector, just right click on the thread group, go to add, go to listener and select Perfmon Metrics Collector. So here, if you click on Add Row, you can enter the host. By default, it populates the port number 4444 and metrics to collect, it supports CPU, memory, swap, disks, network, TCP, uh, JMX, and executable, and tail. So in this case, I'm going with uh, CPU, and memory, and network. And if you want to configure the parameters for these metrics, you can just double click on the row and click on this three dots, which will open the uh, helper. And here you can select the primary metrics, additional metrics and CPU cores, etc. So as of now, I'm going to leave this as default for all the parameters. And before I start the execution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the agent so that it will start collecting the metrics of your servers. So to start the agent, I'm going to command prompt. Right now it is already running. So I'll show you how to run the agent. Just go to the folder where you have extracted the content. And if you see here, there is a folder library, uh, command runner.jar, server agent.jar, start agent for Windows and start agent for Linux and Mac OS. So in this case, I'm going with start agent.bat and hit enter. This will start the agent and then it will open the port 4444 and then it will start accepting the connection. 
You can configure the different port number by sending the appropriate commands. I can add the link in the description so that you can refer the additional commands. Right now, as you see, the agent has been started and I'm going to gem it. Before you start the test, make sure the connection is successful. So what you can do is you can just right click on the third group and click on validate. So once you click on validate, here you can see accepting new connection. Yep, we received the test command, which means our connection is successful and we are ready to fire the test. Now go to Jmeter and just uh, click on run button. So here in the third group, I have configured one thread. Ramp up is uh, one second and I'm going to run with one minute. Make sure you are running in CLI mode if you are running the actual load test. Just for the demonstration purpose, I'm using the GUI. I'm going to hit run and if you go to uh, the perform on metrics collector, it will start collecting the metrics and it will start populating the graphs. And if you go to the terminal, here you can see it is a starting measures, memory, CPU, network, input, output. And if you go to JMeter, you can see the graph. If you want to compare with your uh, resource monitor with the JMeter, you can do that. So what you can do is you can just right click and uh, open the task manager and go to uh, details or uh, sorry, performance and I click on uh, open resource monitor. So here you can see the different uh, tabs, CPU, memory, disk, network. And uh, if you want to compare, you can compare it. So CPU, uh, memory, uh, disk and network. And similarly, these metrics will match with your JMeter metrics because JMeter is basically it's collecting the metrics from the OS and then it says using the server agent, then it is uh, publishing the metrics to JMeter. So those uh, values must match. And this is how you collect the metrics and then you will analyze the server performance. So in real projects, what you have to do is you have to make sure you deploy the agents across all the servers and configure the host port metrics to collect here and collect all the performance together and analyze what's going on. Alternatively, you can use the APM tools like Dynatrace, Neuralink. Automatically, it will collect the uh, metrics and it will display in a beautiful dashboard. That's the case on my side. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.